Hi friends, my name is Mukesh. Today I am going to tell you that how we can install WSUS Windows Server Update Services and how to configure it for, for give Windows Update to the client machine in this network. So, as you can see that I have already installed Windows Server 2012 and now I am going to tell you that how you can do the steps. So, for this we have to open the server manager and here we have to go and manage the first option add role and features you can see role basic on feature page option click on next then next and here is some list of roles you can see there so we have to install WSS so in the end of the list you can see Windows Server Update Services. Click on that. It have uh, it has some requirement of features, so it will automatically list it out. So click Add Features. So the requirement is Web Server and so Services. Now is the features which we have already selected by the Web Server. So click on Next. Here you can see that these three options is uh, WID, database, WSO server, and database. You can select WSO server, and but uh, WID database and database is like uh, if you are creating the primary server, primary web server in this simulation, then you have to click on WID base because uh, it will show all the data, all the updates file in its own but uh, if you are using this uh, secondary web server like your primary web uh, WS, WS server is located in any other location so you can split it with database but as we are going this for primary click on next now, so here we have to give the path where all the database file and the updates file will be stored so the folder for the updates so delete this and I'm creating a new file All the requirement you should there. It's just configuration. Install. It will take at least two minutes to install this server. So wait for that. I would like to tell you that uh, for installing this uh, WSO server, we will need admin permission. If 
if we don't have admin right then we will not, we will not be able to install this server so I have only experience for this case now launched for post installation so it's just about configuring, configuring this server At the time, I can show you that uh, how we can change if we don't have admin lives, and how we can install it. I need to go in. I have not added this server in my domain so suppose if I have not rights for my administrator domain then I can install this web server without the a without adding it in domain server and after installation I can add the server in domain and the web server sorry the delicious server is not work but if I go in WID. I told you Windows enter and download so I go to service and it's W enter and download and here I have to change this login permission as I have not added this server in my domain so I go in there and after ensure adding this server in my AD, AD server I have to just click on local server account or this account as I can select it the built-in administrator so I will give it built-in administrator user right and this will work fine so let's to do it now because this is not added in Security update so and this computer list and the shape senses six plus ropes this is not yet synchronized with the Windows update server that's why it's not showing any update. So we can select it that which kind of update I need like I want to give to my client uh, clients the user laptop or desktop so click on option and then product and classifications now here you can see that uh, all the updates uh, all the product is listed there I can change this like product particular updates Security update. I can add this driver if I want to give him a driver update also and the feature pack and the service pack tools. Update.